video is about a simple shortcut protection circuit. I made a small demonstration circuit on the breadboard here. You only need a few components and it is an effective uh, way to protect your electronics. Of course um, you have to adapt it to your own needs when you need a higher voltage or a lower voltage etc etc so this is only a demonstration um, there are many from these shortcut protection circuits electronic uh, and with relays and often they work this way this is the positive lead the positive lead goes to the load let's say this is an audio amplifier and the um, current goes back and somewhere in this circuit is a resistor from a very low value let's say 1 ohm or sometimes uh, 2 ohms or even lower and the, the point is this that when here in your amplifier there's a shortcut a voltage rises across this, across this uh, resistor and that voltage so in fact it's the the power supply voltage that suddenly goes up here and that uh, drives an electronic switch or uh, it drives a transistor and that uh, breaks the current in the circuit. But there's one problem with this way of um, shortcut protection and that's the earth. The earth is normally on the minus load, sorry on the minus uh, terminal, it can also be on the positive but often it's on the minus terminal and when this is for instance an amplifier your amplifier is not completely grounded because it um, is grounded via this one ohm resistor and that can cause earth problems especially in audio amplifiers this circuit doesn't have that problem because the resistor that uh, makes the whole circuit work and that creates the voltage uh, jump or voltage drop, whatever you want, is in the positive lead. Uh, in fact it's very simple. This is a PMP silicon transistor. Uh, when a PMP uh, silicon transistor uh, gets a negative voltage on its base, it starts to conduct and then the current through the relay coil flows and the switch is opened. So we have to uh, give this BD140 a uh, positive voltage as long as we have no shortcut. But when this is shortcutted, the transistor uh, starts to conduct and the relay is opened. And this is the reset knob. So the circuit can be reset um, by removing the power supply voltage for a very short moment. You see it's how it was all made. This is an automotive relay, 12 volt, can handle 30 ampere. This is a 24 volt lamp. And here is that big resistor uh, over which the, volt, uh, the supply voltage, voltage starts to fall when the load is shortcut. So I'm going to shortcut the lamp now. Shortcut it, and you can hear that the relay switches off, switches the power supply off. And of course, now there is still a current drawn from the power supply, but now it goes through this relay coil. So the transistor gets a little bit warm or hot, also the coil can get a little bit warm, so you have to cool this transistor. Uh, when we remove the power supply voltage, the whole circuit is reset and it works again. And when we shortcut it again, it switches off again. Um, it's also interesting to see what happens when the lamp is slowly shortcut. And that's what I want to demonstrate now. Um, this is a power resistor 
sorry for the camera work, I'm constantly moving. This is a power resistor. And here I'm going to move now the, this part slowly on the power resistor. So here you can see that the power resistor halfway shortcuts the lamp and it shortcuts it more and more, much more, far more. And on a certain moment, that's here, it switches off. So this says also something about how the circuit works. I want to do that again. So when it's not acceptable that the whole circuit switches off in this way, this circuit is not usable. Do it again. So at first there must be a substantial shortcut in the circuit before it all switches off. Now it switches off. When it has to uh, switch off on an earlier moment, when the voltage drops uh, slightly, of course you need another circuit. But this is only uh, a circuit that's made for, let's say, a real shortcut. And when, when you want to do some experiments, you can do experiments with the relay, the voltage, etc. etc. For instance, when you want to uh, apply it for a 12 volt unit, of course the relay uh, must be, uh, let's say, a 5 volt relay, or perhaps a 9 volt relay. But I'm almost sure that it also can work on 12 volt with this type of relay, 5 volt, or 9 volt, or 6 volt.